if you've ever played dominoes, you've heard the saying, all money, not good money. You can score right now, but you could end up losing the game and giving more points up to your opponent, which means that you can't take additional moves. It's basically not a good decision. That's why we talk about so much in the business world, deferred gratification, investing your money, making the right decisions. Unfortunately, this is not the case for the brother Zion Williamson. This idiot, oh my God, this Negro has slept with one of the most craziest ladies allegedly, and it gotta be true because there would be no reason why she would be acting like this if it wasn't true, okay? This lady is completely ballistic, and it is this retired porn star, Mariah Mills. Now, I don't know what is going on with this BBL that she got. This BBL is ridiculous. But remember, Zion Williamson um, has gotten this other IG model pregnant, Concrete Rose, who's 30 years old, right? She got a BBL too. She on here fighting chicks too, all right? Now, this lady, Mariah Mills, has been going crazy, all right? Now, I want you to look at some of these things she's been saying. Like, she's been tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. She's been saying this. You've ruined my summer with this news, like big time, all right? Then she also says, you are fatter than the claws in your contract. The last time I saw you, I hope they weigh you fat F. I'm done trying to help. Stop the show. How <laughs> How are you trying to help somebody? You're, you're, you're an adult star. You, anyways, let me, let me stop, stop, okay? You're taking, it's too far. Grow the F up and be a man instead of a fat crybaby who can't, F, your D is trash, and you let a H-O-E trap you. Okay, so now, let me just say this. You see what you're saying now? Your, your D is trash, you're fat. All right, what if what if, what if if Zion Williamson was to say that about somebody as a woman? Man, that you would lose all your sponsorships and all that kind of stuff, right? And if you were to react to this, you're the one losing your sponsorships. And this is why I tell you, even me, can't be losing with these people or dealing with these chicks with nothing to lose. It's going to always get you when they're broke, they're dusty. And this is something like every guy got to go through when it ain't got nothing to lose. You're going to always have problems. Now she's bringing up stuff, right? So embarrassing. Had to watch you lose. When you came to my city, you're not a champ. You're the king uh, anymore. You're a fat loser. You lost me for good. Stop the show. Like, <laughs> like you're doing it before him. Enjoy fatherhood and you're sweaty. I hate laying next to you in bed. Okay, now he goes, you book everyone in the same hotel room in New Orleans. I told you to switch my hotel after I kept seeing H-O-E-S in my suite. F you. I pray you not effing all those holes raw. Glad I'm I'm tested, rested, and clean. God knows how many bees you since I left last week. Um, if any of those tapes leak, I know it's you because we filmed them on your trap. <laughs> There's another one. Your D is trash. I had to force myself to um, C U M. We'll blur that out. You, you fat F. Your face disgusts me. I can't even look at you when you F me. Now, listen, this is crazy. She, she wasn't saying this when it was getting it on. She says again, What I was your African sex freak, sex freak fantasy, Zion. Then this is a comment. Yeah, she's saying, like, can you get this hairstyle and some waist beads? That was good motivation. Keep them coming, right? This is just in May. Now she posts this. Remember when you wanted me to have a threesome with white girls to spice up our sex life? I mean, it should have been O-U-R. Even more, when I found them, you said, no, I don't want to share you. F you, snow bunnies, for threesomes, black girls to F and suck. I hate you. And you couldn't uh, F me standing up because of your leg. I was really there for you. You never touched this P again. And trust, I know you loved it. Um... Effing, know you been seeing me since 2021, 2023, and you beg to see me all the time. Like everyone else got to know that I F, I got clowned. Then she writes, you wanted to tag your name on me and quit OnlyFans and social media and you had a baby on me. 
You forced me to get knotless braids and wear waist because beads every time I came to New Orleans because you said you wanted me to embrace my African roots and you said, at least you're making you be pro-black, right? And you said it made me more beautiful to you. You you did everything you I did everything you asked me to do and you did this to me. Your bathroom was filled with soda bottles and cans. No wonder you fat as f. I'm not in shape, you, and not in shape, you. You uh, F you Zion West. I'm tired of being nice. You hurt me and humiliated me. You ate my stuff on the first night. You love my, I know, I know what I have. Um, I wish I could have came and seen you on my Valentine's day as you wanted me to, but I was still sick from my failed butt reduction surgery. So I was on my bed rest till March as Chris for my doctor. Now look, I do date in November. She saw a lonely duck and quacked. I'm so livid trapped. All right. Anyways, you know, like, here's another one right i became the black women stop is black woman you wanted me to be i stopped straightening my hair and began wearing braids and waist beats as you request well he he at least trying to make you a pro black boo and even stayed off social media for a bit that's what you do to me yeah i'm hurt we was more than that can't believe this made me angry seeing you kiss her and gender reveal party the way you did me and my ass and back kisses i but i know it's not real you only went to save face clearly from the shirt you had on <sighs> let me let me just talk about this right and um, I can understand as a man of any age having opportunities with different women. This is just how the game works, right? You got money, you got some some things going on. You're gonna have women that's gonna be available to you, and they know that you got other ladies. They know that, and usually they're not gonna leave you for that. But in this case. You know, he can't defend himself because if he do, he gonna look even more stupid than he already does. The The fact of the matter is guys, you, you gotta watch who you dealing with. Okay. And these women are dealing with this guy because he has $200 million in contracts, even though his fat, <laughs> even though he doesn't play. Okay. This is what's going on in these streets. This is what's going on in these streets. And let this be a lesson to rich guys everywhere. Guys who want to be rich everywhere. This is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. If you are not careful, you are going to be dealing with this. You're going to be dealing with this guys. Unfortunately, you're going to be dealing with crazy situations. This is a lady that was a porn star that again, she, you saw her messing with dudes again, that like she has nothing to lose, bro. You can't deal with a woman that got nothing to lose at all. What do you expect you're going to get from this person? There is nothing that you're going to get from them. I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys this. And if you got money, you're going to have problems, man. You can't be dealing with them like that. You can't. It sounds bad, I know. It sounds a little egregious, I know. But it can't happen, man. These chicks are going to destroy you guys. Every chance they get. All the time. If you deal with them like this. They have nothing to lose. They have no backbone. They have nothing to offer. And you start making them feel like they need to be there. You never let nobody feel like they need to be there when they don't deserve to be there. They need to know like, hey, look, you know, you like what they do in the bedroom, but you know, guys being sex addicts and stuff like that, man, you gotta have some more composure, man. Don't let these chicks be next to you when they don't deserve to be there. They've been ruining everything, some of these ladies, that they have come across their own lives. And you're not picking a nice lady, you're picking somebody that's crazy. So let that be an example, guys. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Get your father to subscribe to the bell. We're out.